Tracker. We've given you a lot of good things over the years. Russell Crowe, ACDC. That's about it. Anyway, one thing we're not giving you, and we feel like you've been a bit rude by not accepting it, is this. Well, here it is, the Walkinshaw Performance Super Wagon. Six litres of supercharged glory, and only in Australia. Sorry about that. So there's not a lot you can do with it legally. Let's put down the window so you can have a listen to that exhaust come in, the sound. You're gonna just take off from the lights at a normal pace, not gonna speed, none of that. Just gonna let it have its head. There's a guy next to me in a Range Rover Discovery that thinks he's gonna be able to have me. And that's the end of that. 60 kilometers an hour comes up on the screen and uh, the lesson is over. So tell us about Walkinshaw Performance. The name obviously very famous. Um, certainly the location indicate where we are now out near the Holden Special Vehicles uh, assembly area. The Holden Race Team is just around the corner. Tell us about Walkinshaw's history and, and in particular what you're doing today. Okay, basically this, uh, this part of the business only started in operation about three years ago, but um, obviously Tom Walkinshaw's relationship with Holden goes back a long way. And in fact, over 20 years um, to be precise. So Tom started the, the, uh, the HSB and HRT business up in uh, the early 1990s, so 1990 I think it was exactly. Um, that sort of since progressed and, and through his relationship with Holden this business was formed. And the reason this business was specifically formed was because we saw a need in the marketplace to have OE quality sort of fitment of aftermarket products um, and with a sort of a reputable company. So somebody that understands the products and does things within the limitations um, of its capacity. So we'll never chase a number just for the sake of achieving a number. We'll always do what's right for the vehicle and what's right for the consumer. And that's why we, we can afford to offer a warranty on the modifications that we do. I think the, um, the thing about Walkinshaw Performance is as well, because we understand the product so well, we've been able to, uh, to do our research and development and our engineering based on, on OE uh, specifications. The bimodal exhaust is a classic example of that. Um, you know, it's an option on an R8 here in Australia, it's, a, uh, it's standard on a GTS, um, but we've taken it to, a, to another level because we've introduced a, a three inch um, system, a catback system, um, that operates exactly with the same functionality that the, uh, the OE system does. So it's, it's valve, vacuum valve operated um, through the ECU based on, on the revs. Um, or certain rev level. So that's what Walkinshaw does. We look at the car, we understand the vehicle, and we understand what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. In a sense, it sounds like Walkinshaw are back to what Australians have often been regarded as doing well, and that is coming up with innovative ways to, ways to solve normal engineering problems. Is that something that you sort of pride yourselves on? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Alan, Alan's an absolute genius. I mean, what he does and how he does it, um, you know, the, 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 the level of detail that we go to to make sure that the product that's, uh, products that are fitted to the vehicles look factory and look OE is, uh, is second to none in the market. The car's performance, so I've already reviewed that and spoken about it. We already know what it is. It, it's the, the Commodore wagon, and you can get it in the SS or, or indeed go, yeah. go, go and be a walk-up start, bring your own one in. But the question that Jalopnik watchers and readers are going to want to know is, can they get their hands on a left-hand drive one? Will you build them a left-hand drive one if they ask nicely? I think, um, as Al alluded to before, we've sort of been down that path before we We've looked at it and we've quoted, um, but we've never actually done a, uh, a left-hand conversion. So you would quote on it? If we'd certainly quote on it, yeah. And if they'd pony up the dollars, is there a box of G8 bits somewhere out the back here that are, you know, all the, the left-hand dash and everything you need? Did Holden drop them off in a, no, in a mini skip? No, not at all. No, no, not at all. We'd have to, uh, you'd have to sort all the parts. It would be a bit of work to put it all together. Um, but again, you know, is the cost, so does the cost outweigh the benefit, so to speak? Mm -hmm. That's something that only the consumer could actually decide at the end of the day. Um, I don't know, do you want to 
Uh, Alan, you're one of the engineers here, so tell us, tell us about it. Yeah, tell us about a, a left, what would be a left hooker, as they call it, cost you. Well, it'll probably cost at least double the cost of a standard vehicle at the moment, based on the the fact that we would have to start from a body shell, a left-hand drive uh, shell, and then build it from there. So, having said that, the pieces are possibly available to do it. But, you know, it's a long process, an expensive process. Options. Oh. Your options are the same as what we produce here for the Australian local conditions. You can have all of the super wagon componentry, uh, supercharger packages, wheels, tyres, brakes, audio upgrades, the whole range of the WP product uh, line. Also the sedan, uh, you can utilise all the product from that car, uh, which has high level brakes again at the moment, uh, high boost capabilities for the supercharger, camshaft packages, everything that's available for us that will transfer to the left hand drive geo food. What's, the, uh, what's the, the, the general horsepower package that you'll end up with? Yeah, the general horsepower package is our, well I'll talk in kilowatt readings to start with, our 480 kilowatt. 900. So 800, 800 Newton meters. 800 Newton meter package, which is the manual uh, 6.2 liter version. Um, it's an LS3 engine. LS3, right. 6.2 LS3 oh, engine. Yeah. Um, the 6 liter L98 version, which is the uh, Australian variant, um, is uh, for what was like 450 kilowatt automatic. Seven, uh, seven, 770 Newton meters, yeah. So they're our standard. Uh, packages available with warranty, full three year paratrain warranty in Australia. So basically, uh, if you're in the US and you want to uh, get us a quote off us, just go to www.walkingshawperformance.com.au, send us an email and we'll happily send through a quote uh, for a left-hand converted G8. With a supercharger. With a supercharger and a few other bits and pieces. <laughs>